Hi everyone, I'm Andy Taylor, VP of Research here at Tenuity, here to talk through just some of the key takeaways presented in our Q3 2022 Google, Meta, and Amazon Ads benchmark reports, which are based on more than $3 billion in ad spend under management annually at Tenuity. Starting with the Google report, one of the most talked about updates over the last few months has been the transition from smart shopping to Performance Max campaigns and how new inventory available through Performance Max would perform. The good news is that the early data shows that the conversion rate for these two campaign types is nearly identical and that Performance Max inventory performs remarkably similar to smart shopping traffic. When it comes to Google Shopping, one point of interest for many brands is how present Amazon is in ad auctions heading into Q4. Taking a look at Amazon impression share using Auction Insights reports, we found that Amazon pulled back at the end of Q3 after peaking in July during its Prime Day sale, similar to what was observed last year, but we'll likely see that share ramp back up as the holiday shopping season gets underway. Heading over to the Meta report, one welcome sign for advertisers is that ad pricing on the social giant finally declined year over year, the first decline since way back in 2020 for its annuity advertisers. This has been a welcome sign for marketers that the competitive pressure of the last year and a half is finally starting to cool a bit as we head into the holiday shopping season. Another big storyline we'll be keeping an eye on as we head into the final quarter is how big Instagram Reels becomes for brands. The format has now grown in its share of Instagram ad impressions in each of the last four quarters, but still accounted for just 4.7% of impressions in Q3. With Meta touting that Reels accounts for more than 20% of total Instagram use, there's still plenty of runway for Reels ads to play a more important role in Meta advertising. Finally, let's take a look at some of the key trends from the Amazon benchmark report. Sponsor product spend growth nearly doubled from Q2 to Q3, as the July timing of Prime Day helped boost the third quarter. Sales attributed to sponsor products were as 23% in the third quarter, and return on ad spend for sponsor products advertisers has remained nearly identical throughout the first three quarters of the year, despite CPC growth. Now, our Amazon report includes not only important data on Amazon performance, but also dives into key developments for Walmart advertisers as well. And one of the biggest changes impacting Walmart performance has been the June 2022 update to a second price auction. This resulted in a huge decline in the average cost per click paid, and Walmart sponsored products return on ad spend was up 61% in the month of September compared to the month of April. These are just some of the key trends and insights included in Tenuity's Q3 Triopoly reports. Head to your inbox to access the complete series. Thanks for watching.